webcam is annoying the hell. <laughs> So you're wondering why I'm here right now, well, I'm here to say my thoughts on um, DMC. I won't be doing the walkthrough for it now, because um, the other day I decided, uh, well, I might as well try and complete it. Um, I'm here to say my thoughts on it, on how the game was, how the progression was, how the ending was and all that. Um, so, you know, let's get down to it, and I'll just move my lights on again. <laughs> so, um, let's see. First of all, character's designs. Um, I did like the new design for Dante. Um, as soon as I unlocked the other costume skins, like, you could use the skins from uh, the original DMC if you had the, um, you know, the DLC for it, but I didn't, unfortunately, so... Um, the new Dante is actually pretty good. Um, I think Tim Phillips did a very good job on him. Um, same with um, Virgil, I think that guy, I think he did a very good job on Virgil as well. Um, they kept Virgil to what it was in DMC3. Um, but um, I think people like Mundus, Bob Barbus, and um, another, they were. They were pretty good characters in terms of the voicing. Um, now I'm gonna move on to um, you know story. Basically, spoiler alert. Now this is a spoiler alert. Basically, Dante knows about Limbo already, but he always knew that to get out, I had to kill the thing that brought you in. He didn't know anything about these rifts that um that she was talking about, um, but, um, basically in the first level you run around, you start killing and all that, I've got shit on it here, I don't even know, um, so basically, um, the styles of which you fight is pretty good, um, the weapon you get is obviously Rebellion, you get Ebony and Ivory, you get, um, Eric's, which is basically two giant balls of fire for your fist, which is fucking awesome. You get the Arbiter, which is, I think is the axe, if I remember correctly. You get, um, you get another, you get Kwame for a gun, which is a grenade, grenade launcher. I don't know why they added it as a grenade launcher. They could have just done what they did for DMC4 for Dante and added Pandora's box, which would have made more sense um, but another thing that I kind of felt like it was missing was um, the like the wings on the back which you got in DMC4. Um, that weapon where it, it shooted out red needles and when you throw the flower they would explode. That would have been much better for the new Dante to use. He was like, yeah, he was thinking to himself as a ladies man, <clears throat> just like the original Dante did. Um, anyway, back back to the story. Um, basically, you go through the game, um, taking down each of Mundus's um, hierarchy. You start off with the, the um, demon hunter, which is the hunter, which is a pretty easy boss, but still kill you a lot of times. Uh, I completed it on Dante Must Die, which means I had one health, and he took one hit to kill. But, um, after that I chose to do Heaven or Hell, which was, I, I can die in one hit, but enemies have no health, and I soon completed it in that one. Um, yeah, um, after, um, seeing what the succubus was like, I was like, that's not what I expected from a succubus, until she said how old she is, and that made me go, right. I didn't know Sucky vs. Age, but still, close enough. Um, what else was there? Um, when you actually take down Mundus, I mean, it, it's a giant motherfucker boss, obviously. Um, you take it down with Virgil, I felt the boss, the final boss was, well, not the final boss, but Mundus was too easy. And when you finish that, you're like, whew, 
well, what, I'm done. What's next? Um, then there's another um, club scene which shows um, Dante, Virgil, and Cap um, standing, and um, Virgil says, "Oh, let's this world is ready to rule." And Dante says things like, "What? What are you talking about? We're not ruling." He says, "Well, these are subject." We'll treat our subjects like normal humans, like normal, and Cat then turns around and says, you think we're subjects? Um, and then Dante says, I'm not, I can't let you get away with this, and they just step aside, and he's like, ooh, and they just like Virgil. And now that battle was the final battle in the game, and I say that is a brilliant battle. Um, they opened it up for another one, basically, because Virgil goes back into the demon world, um, which is a good thing, which means he, he, he leaves Dante to rule, and Dante will rule with fairness, and he goes, I don't know who, we are, who I am anymore, and then she turns around and goes, you're Dante, you're you, and then his eyes just go into a demon corner, and he's like, he's awakened. <coughs> My throat's still killing me from yesterday. But, yeah, all in all, story progression was perfect. Weapons were alright in terms of as soon as you get the Aquila. And when you get those stars, they're actually pretty handy when you knock enemies into the air. You use Rattle Trip, and it like, keeps them up in the air, so you can easily just pull out Ivory and Ivory and just shoot them to shit. Um, but, I reckon, in terms of replay value, there is none, so I will be able to play it again, because I'd know what would happen and all that, but, fortunately, I may be able to get my hands on Virgil's downfall, which is where you play as Virgil, and I'll be able to do that, I'll be able to record that as well, but um, if you want to the fact that was like that, usual, it's because the sun's out, it's hitting my curtains. So, yeah, um, so that basically do all my thoughts for DMC Devil May Cry, um, when I finish Ocarina of Time, I will give my thoughts on the Zelda Timeline. So, I'll see you guys then. See you later. Bye-bye!